Hey everyone, welcome back. So in this video, we're going to be creating um, a Pong game. As you can see here, I have some sprites. Um, I will post these in the description if you want them. Um, but just know that they're not the best. Uh, Background.png. This is a sprite that is the same size as our room. So 1024 by 768. The ball is 32 by 32 pixels, and the bat is 44 pixels by 128 pixels. So if you want to just make your own, you can. Um, I just use Piscal, which is piscalapp.com, and that's a free um, image editor to help you make game art. And all right, but let's begin here. So I'm going to introduce you to a new... Uh, variable it's called um, type so with types you can actually host sub variables within those uh, that you can reference for your players so for us what I'm gonna do is um, get it to where our player has a host of different variables and we're gonna reference these to basically um, give a score set our speeds um, our X and Y, we're going to need to calculate um, our last move and our last move time, um, which I know probably doesn't make sense right now, but um, it will as we go along. So really quick, how you create a type variable, you just write type and then create your variable name. So I'm going to call mine player info. And actually, I'm going to add a comment to this. Um, I'm just going to say uh, set up variables for the player all right so now underneath this line uh, what you can do is add our sub variables so uh, first of all add our x and y um, variables so you have to um, initialize them first so let me say this will store the X and Y position of the bat on the screen. Alright, so you want to just do X as float, Y as float. So these are going to be uh, decimal point numbers. It's uh, The reason why I'm not doing integer is just so it's more precise because uh, it'll be down to the decimal. Uh, next what we can say is um, store the, the image number um, for our sprite. So we can say, um, yeah, store the number of the sprite. Can't type today. It's going to be sprite as integer. And remember, so sprites, whenever you're creating multiple, you have to create sprite one, and then sprite two, and then sprite three, and so on. So this is going to be a whole number, so this one is going to be an integer. Um, next, we can um, do our speed. So um, this variable will allow the speed to be monitored. Let's do speed as float. Um, then we can do our last move and last move time. So know which direction the bat last moved in. And this will be last move as integer. And then this last one is tell how long it was since the last move and this one will be last move time as integer and I think the last one we need is just our score um, score of the player score as integer and now to end that um, new variable containing sub variables you just want to type in type all right so now um, 
how can we reference these? Well, it's it's actually really easy to reference uh, type variables. So in order to do it, all you have to do is do like, um, well, say we created a global variable for our player, right? So we'll say global player as player info. Oh, there we go. As player info. So now we're setting our global variable of player to the player info, which contains all these sub variables. So what we can say, um, say we wanted to set our image, right? So I'll do um, another global here. I'm going to say global player image um, equals one. Right. And I don't have that one here, so this is me creating a new variable. So what we can do is say load image, and for the image that we're going to load, we're going to say player image. So this is basically um, retrieving that global variable that we just created, which is just one. So really, all I'm saying here is one. I'm just giving it a name so it's easier for me to reference. Right. And then now we just need to load the image that we want to have. So in our folder, um, I have the bat.png. So I'm going to put quotations. And I'm going to say bat.png and then close it off. Now, uh, in order to create that sprite, I'd have to say something like um, create sprite. And then I want to do uh, the player.sprite of the player image. Alright, so um, we can hit play now and sprite zero ID must be did that not give us wait oh I know why. Alright, so <laughs> let's set uh, sprite position and the sprite position that we're going to set is player dot dot sprite, um, and then we're going to use our player dot x and player dot y values, uh, which we have not set yet. So actually, let's set those really quick. Let's go underneath our load image here. And I'm going to say player dot x um, equals, I don't know, I'll do 500 and then player dot y equals oh, six, nah, let's say 500. So we'll just do 500 by 500 for now, but we will change these later. All right. Um, all we need to do is do player dot sprite equals, I don't know, we'll do 10. Okay. Now it should work. There we go. Alright, so there's there's our bat. It is now on the screen. Alright. Um, I don't like the angle it's at. Uh, I'm going to have it actually rotated. So what I want to do with that is under the set sprite position, I'm going to do set sprite angle and I'm going to change the angle of the player dot sprite and I'm going to set it to 270 to be rotated. There we go. Now it's going to be rotated and I don't like its position so let me actually move it. Um, it didn't look centered to me so I'm going to say 512 maybe and then I'll set this to 680. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's a little off. Uh, let me try minus 18. Oh yeah, much better. Okay, I like that. Probably end it there at this one. Um, so we got our, our sprite on the screen. Uh, in the next one, uh, we will add movement, probably our background, um, and maybe we'll get the ball on there too. I don't know. But uh, all right, guys, that's going to be it for this one. I will see you in the next one.